I'm gonna make sure I've got my glasses on. Take number 182, cause what do you ain't ready? Oh, it's already rolling. I'm tired of this. Hey guys, Daryl with Trophy Seekers Outdoors. Uh, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me to do a video on my boat, my setup, how everything works on my boat. Uh, and so I'm gonna to listen to you guys and I'm gonna make a video on it. What I have is a, a Tracker Pro V 175 guide. It's a deep V uh, boat. It's a Man, it's real stable. It's made to go into a lot of uh, rough water. Uh, they were made to go up in uh, the Great Lakes, walleye fish and stuff like that, dragging off the back, but they work really good for a catfish boat. I, uh, I had a uh, Carolina skiff before I had this, center console. Just wasn't happy with it. And uh, I wanted something that I could really get around in the back with. And this is so open in the back, and we'll show you that for so with. Uh, I want to tell you the goods and the bads uh, about this boat. Uh, you know, it's not a custom built boat for me, so it does have a few bads in it. Uh, but we'll start from the front and work our way back. I got Woody running the camera for me, so. <laughs> got the number one top notch camera guy. Uh, comes with a good winch. I don't have any issues with the winch. Uh, the trailer's a nice trailer. Uh, it did not come with the spare tire. I had to buy that and put it on there, but it does have a rack up here. It just screws down with two screws, goes right in there. I'm sure you could order it with a uh, rack. I don't think I said in the, or with the spare tire, I don't think I said in the beginning, this is a, uh, a 2019 tracker. So it's a couple of years old. When I bought it, I bought it from a couple that only had it out on the lake two or three times. It was just, they were an older couple and it was bigger than they wanted to mess with. And so uh, they want to sell it and get a smaller boat. This boat is 17 foot, six inches long from the stern to bow, bow to stern. And uh, I really like it. Could it be a little longer? I guess it probably would make it even more stable, but I'm happy with it the way it is, aren't you, Woody? Yes, sir. I mean, it does, that's what we want. Have a hook, the hook here, sort of safety hook deal. Uh, the trailer, nice trailer. Uh, it's a single axle. The only thing I don't like about it is the single axle. Not that that's anything wrong if you're not going to make a whole lot of trips, but with me, I drive an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes one way when I go to Tennessee. And you guys that watch the channel know I go up there a bunch. It would just be so much more stable if you had a double axle trailer. One day I'll probably get me one of them, but that's not in the future right now. Uh, we're doing what we do. Uh, carpeted. I like how you can actually, this is a full board that you can use to get up into this boat, uh, get over. This boat is so deep that you better have a boat dock on it. That's one thing. Uh, a negative between this and a bass boat is getting in it. Uh, fat boys like me and Woody, <laughs> we don't do so good on getting in. So uh, you gotta have a boat dock to pull up to most of the time. I mean, if you don't, I guess you can work your way into it, but it's pretty tough. Uh, it has a 150 Mercury four stroke. Uh, that was ordered. Most of them come with the 90 or the 115, but this one has the 140. Very happy with, or 150. I am very happy with this 150 four stroke. It's quiet. It gets up on a on plane real fast. Uh, with me and Woody, we're both we field dress pretty good, that's all I'm going to tell you. And uh, with me and Woody in it, with all the fishing equipment, it'll do 50 mile an hour. And you think, well, that's not much with a 150. Uh, now, bass boats are built to fly. They're built to level a lot faster. This one rides deep in the water. It rides about 16 to 18 inches down in water. So you got a lot of contact with the water with this boat, so it won't push it as fast. But I'm going to tell you, 50 mile an hour is fast enough for me, especially you get in the winter time. Man, 50's way too fast. Uh, probably cruising speed about as low as I can get it down to is about 20 mile an hour to uh, cruising. And, and she don't she don't even hardly drink any gas when you're doing that. You get her up to 50 mile an hour wide open, run about 
you know, 30 miles and you know you drank some gas out of that bad girl. But uh, anyway, I really like the motor on it. Uh, has a swim deck on it. You let it down. I've got this. Anyway, a way to get in. So, oh, uh, it was a buddy of mine, Mr. Russ, had to use it one day. Thanks to our buddy Woody, threw him out of the boat. <laughs> Thought he was a chicken. I don't know. We ain't getting into that in this video. But anyway, uh, you can see the rod hose will get into that more. Let's come around this way. This is what we named this boat, the Fat Cat. Why the Fat Cat? Because the Fat Cats is what rides it today, Woody. Yes, sir. We some big boys and we're proud of our eating. <laughs> so we call it the Fat Cat. And uh, we've, we've pulled some fat cats in on this thing for sure. I'm going to get in the inside here. This is a Minn Kota Riptide. Uh, I really like it. It's a, it's a Riptide. It's got the autopilot type deal on it. Uh, and you put the, uh, the lock on it and it'll lock in spot, you know, spot lock. And uh, there's a lot of times where we just want to try a spot out. And... Uh, we won't throw the anchor out. We'll spot lock and fish right out of the back of the boat, and uh, it's awesome. It's a 24 volt system, uh, 70, 70 volts, uh, or 24 volts, 70 pound thrust. It was on my Carolina skiff when I bought it, and when I uh, bought this boat, I hadn't sold my skiff yet, and this boat didn't have this on it. So old D rail, yeah, he took it off Carolina skiff. Took the trolling motor off of this one, put it on the Carolina skiff, and put this one on here. Bingo! Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't match the boat, but I'm going to tell you what. That was a great thing I did right there for sure. Uh, it has, if you want to move around here, Woody. It has tilt and trim on the front. Has a uh, cigarette lighter here. person that had it had, uh, had anchors that you could drop down on the front and the back. But they just... They were just small anchors and they didn't work, so I took them off. But I really like it. It has the Atwood plug-in for my trolling motor. I say the tilt and trim. The little light up here, uh, front light, has a light that goes on right here you can see by. My big problem with this boat is it don't have enough light in it. Uh, wished it had more light in it, and I'm going to take care of that before it's over with. Uh, to me... For the boat this is, it has a lot of storage. Here's some dry storage right here. Big area right here, dry storage. You see down in there. And then the little glove compartment right here. This is where we put tackle, uh, weights, lead, and all that stuff right up in here. And I really like that for that. Contraband. Uh, contraband. Oh. Uh, we put our, our rain jackets and stuff in here. I really like that. Uh, and then over here is a, I think, and if I'm wrong, I'll put it in on the, on the uh, page, but I think it's 29 gallons here, uh, live well. It, it, I mean, we, we put our bluegill in here and keep them alive. I mean, it works really good. So uh, one up front. And then Don't come around Woody, here. Don't come around here. All right. I may take that camera from you in just a second. It has a rod box here. Let's see that camera here. It has a rod box right there. And uh, you can see it goes up in there. It's okay. It's not my favorite. The rods get hung up a lot in there. But then uh, it has a battery storage right there. You can see I've got one there and there's one slid right up against it. Uh, another problem I don't like about the boat is they only have it where you can easily get one battery in there and, and this boat needs 24 volt trolling motor so I had to do some finagling there to get that up in there but like I say it just shuts back down locks in it's lockable has a uh, compartment right here As you can see uh, down in there it holds a lot you know, you can put some uh, tackle boxes down in there and stuff. And that works really good. Here's the thing I really like about this. As you see, I put me a ruler on here. A lot of people want to know how long a fish is or what it weighs. 
And I don't weigh fish unless I think they're at least 30 pounds, unless the client, or I say a client, somebody goes with me. I don't charge anybody to go fishing with me. They'll help me out with gas, but if they want to know what one length of one is, or if they want to have, you know, if they want to know how much one weighs, it's the biggest fish they ever caught. I'll weigh them if they're under 20 pounds, but usually I don't. I'll start measuring them where you see the length on them. So I've got a ruler there. But this is the one thing I really like. This is a rod locker. Let me get this up. There we go. My bimini top kind of gets in the way there. But it will hold nine to 10 rods easy. The thing you better have on here though is a rod sock on those. Because what happens is when you put them down in there, the tips will go inside the other rods with the line on it and get hung up. So rod socks is pretty much a must and you'll love it if you don't have rod socks you'll be fighting your rods a lot but that's a another thing i really like about it is that rod locker there it locks also as you can see i put a, a rod holder here what i do is when i get my rods i'll put them in there and i use that hole to put my sinker on it my bait on it when i'm baiting up for when I'm throwing out that way I'm not trying to hold the rod and the line and everything else it works really good I learned that from a buddy of mine Joe Jellison with chat cats he does the same thing and I was like still in that little idea but that works good uh, we'll go over here kind of work backwards this is uh, the control panel as you can see it shows the battery uh, shows oil uh, pressure uh, your tilt and trim right here shows it's up or down RPMs, your speed, and your gas. And also, this is for your live wells and your navigation lights, your bilge pump, horn, all that stuff. Uh, I've got a Humminbird Helix 7 here, and then I have a Garmin here. And I forget what, what, number, what number Garmin this is. It's a nine inch screen. Uh, I really like it, I use it a lot. Has switches for my front light up there flip it on and then this switch here gets my lights for videoing right there uh, so that works out good cup holder I've got a little thing right there that I screwed in to hold junk in because I'm always wanting some hooks and stuff up there and this side over here holds my oar holds my lights uh, my front light my bow light and my stern light down there plus holds a lot of other stuff so it's it's got a whole lot of storage in there that I really like. Uh, also, I know I'm going pretty fast, but people don't like a slow video. <laughs> if it's over 10 or 15 minutes, a lot of times they just won't watch it. So, just being honest. Here, uh, it's one side of my live boil. That's, you can put a minnow bucket there. As you can see here, I've got two batteries back here. I don't want to get stuck out on the water with uh, a dead battery, and I run the lights up front off of this for my videoing. Uh, so I have two batteries there they charge each other the motor charges them as it goes down the lake and I haven't been stranded yet because of that did have them where I didn't have them cleaned up and had to fix that but two batteries to me that's the way to go puts a little extra weight in the boat I know that but I'd rather have it that way one day I'm gonna be able to forward them a uh, high-end batteries that uh, I can't even remember the name of what they are, but anyway, them nicer batteries, they don't weigh about 30 pounds. So, and then on the back here, I just put me on some monster rod holders. Guys, those are some sturdy rod holders. I'm gonna tell you what right there. Uh, I got mine blue, I know most of them are black and red, but I'll tell you, they're half inch threads, where my other ones were quarter inch thread, and I don't tell you, I'm happy with those rod holders. Those are nice. Uh, my catfish cutting board here, I have it set up. That way it's right back here where I can get to it, cut up right at my rods, and uh, doesn't get in the way of my uh, rods because my motor's there anyway, so I wouldn't put a rod over that. So that works out well. And uh, I keep my cooler here. It's a lifetime cooler. Can't afford that high-end Yeti. This thing works good, guys. I tell you, that is a must for bait. When I keep my bait on ice, I keep it in this cooler right here and it, it keeps it good. It's a 28 quart cooler and 
it's uh, it really holds good with bait. Uh, kept bait froze three days. Yeah, it's uh, Woody said. Uh, you probably couldn't hear him. He, it's kept bait froze up for three days in here. And I'm talking about froze. So it's a really good cooler. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I put my bait in there. I put my ice on. I'll put more uh, bait that I catch in there. We fish most with bluegill. And then I'll put salt on that to freeze that stuff. Uh, the ones, the bluegill I'm fishing with that day, I'll lay on top of the ice, but if I know I'm going to have extra, I'll put them down in there and put that salt on there and it'll freeze them solid. So, that's that's one thing I like. I missed a compartment here. And, uh, this is where, guys, I just washed this boat so you can see water in there. There's where my uh, char onboard charger is. It charged both of them batteries up front. I keep my life jackets down in there and I'll it's got plenty of storage. It goes up and back from that hole. It's probably a foot forward and a, a foot backwards that way from the size of that hole. So it holds plenty. Storage is not a problem on this boat for sure. I've heard people complain about how these give when you put your foot on. And, and they do. I weigh almost 300 pounds, but it's never crushed in. So I don't have a problem with it. Uh, you know, a thing I would change right here is the live well if i could make a change this one's a uh, 39 gallons i'm pretty sure uh, or 49 I'll, I'll put up there what it is but it goes all the way over to the other side i wished that it had a bigger lid on it where you could get this i understand they made this where you could put a seat there but i don't use it and the other one's for a ski pole, which I have in there, which I'm never going to use that. You ain't seeing Fat Boy on no skis, that's for sure. Ain't happening. So I would rather have had a bigger lid, but we don't keep our fish. We fished one tournament uh, this year where we had to keep the fish that they weighed at the end. And uh, it kept them alive very well. I actually used this live well and the one in front just to make sure to keep them alive. So it did, it done real good. Uh, also, I didn't say we've got tilt and trim right here, also. So we've got tilt and trim in the front, tilt and trim here, and there's one on the motor. Uh, I'll show you what I do to video. Uh, if you're videoing, I, uh, I'm actually shooting video on there right now. So it's video on me, video on the camera. I keep that one turned this way up on that light pole that shoots the back of the camera if you've ever seen my videos. I get a lot of comments on how people like uh, how good you can see the video off of that. That's a GoPro up there and it gets, it'll gets it get both sides. But I also keep one over here. This one's pointed toward the front uh, because I say I've got them both going as I'm shooting this video and that one normally shoots to the back also. Uh, I don't use just one camera just because if I did that one camera went out and I don't have a video also a lot of times one side works better than the other one might get bent down and not get a good shot and we didn't realize it so we've got two videos going at one time there so that's the setup on the boat Woody have I left anything out that you can think of? I think that's about it and yeah. bimini, top. bimini top yeah this bimini top came with a four foot bimini top, which was just way too small. Didn't keep the rain off at all. So I put a six foot on. Uh, I know uh, a guy did one on his boat and he said, most time it's in the way and that's true. Uh, that's Hayden Grubb. He said, most time it stays in, in the way, but it's good when you do need it. And that's the truth, it is in the way. But most of the time, unless you need it. But boy, when you need it, it's great especially in the summertime too that sun gets hot you can put this thing up and i've got a fan a battery fan that goes in here and it'll keep it cool but anyway that's uh how i gear up my boat i've got all the stuff out of it because i was washing it today uh i'll get it all put back in here uh that's how the video set up so i hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh, we'll catch you on another episode of trophy seekers outdoors y'all have a great day